And one more ticket will be punched in the next two hours. Welcome to the Frontier Communications American Women's Basketball Championship. And we are at the Mohegan Sun Arena in Uncasville, Connecticut. And in tonight's final game, three seed USF meets number one seed UConn. And we lost by 28. The one thing you know you'll get from South Florida is tremendous effort, and they will compete. It's just going to be a matter of do they have the execution necessary. The scoring lead in the American Conference, she now has one point more than her teammate, Katie Lou Samuelson, and that didn't take long for Gabby Williams. Yeah. Samuelson, who came in with such high credentials out of high school two years ago. Yeah, absolutely, and the way she played in the postseason a year ago as well. Samuelson with the pull-up three, her 101st of the year. Temple. Last night in the second semifinal, third meeting of the year between those two teams. Well, Williams got the spot right where you're talking about, Rebecca. The positive things that came out of the key and nurse injury was Dangerfield really stepped up her game when she got more minutes. Samuelson for three or second of the night. Flores played well in the game a couple weeks ago in South Florida, doing just that, attacking the basket. And Williams attacks at the other end. I, I know, but I'm saying when you're supposed to be. Doing well, you know, you, you kind of head fake. You have someone cover for you. you maybe you watch the first half of the two seed in the NCAA tournament. The steal by Williams has a step on Pujo, and this is turning into a rout. Needs to try to get Lox a shot. Last night, Lox had broke the school single season scoring record. Williams down low, turned one way than the other. 80 minutes so far so it's inevitable that they're going to feel some fatigue and there it is one more time gabby williams on the offensive end of the floor if she catches it here it's dangerous check out nafisa collier she has the position the defenders on the high side quick turn boom right to the hand leading her to the basket it's pretty stuff Dean. nurse is the most accurate three-point shooter in the american Comes back out to Samuelson because of Collier's rebound. That they have on the defensive end. Collier for three, no good. Rebound inside the Nurse. Williams tries to squeeze between two players. Feeds Collier. What a way to end an unbelievable quarter. It's for South Florida in that first quarter. Connecticut 15 points off of them. They're capitalizing. Samuelson down low using every inch of her 6-3 frame. Continues to grow in her decision making. What a weapon she's going to become. Nurse penetrates, sets up Katie Lou. A lot of other people to put in and she has just continued to blossom since that time. Great feet on the low block. She won't, do that. She won't be doing that when she's a senior. And then she sat out halfway, half of the third quarter. Yeah. And Williams just picks the pocket of Jesperson. Quickly, Dangerfield to Samuelson. Collier to Samuelson. Another three. She's a freshman. She was the freshman of the year in this league a year ago. Reversal to Nurse is wide open in the corner. Butler was the Big East Rookie of the Year at Georgetown before transferring to UConn. And Aaron Passon winds up in a Samuelson three. Katie Lou Samuelson, I mean, if she has any time and she has the range, she's going to make this. Butler to the cutter Williams, who's doubled. Good quick ball rotation, and Chong with the three. 13 from three-point range. Williams ahead to Samuelson, two on one. If they hurry, they do. Have numbers to analyze anything. We'll, we'll figure <laughs> out whether she's more effective with, with one or not. Inside Williams off the pretty feed from Dangerfield. Samuelson another three. She's seven for seven. Switching defense and bottling things up on the perimeter. Oh, what a pass. Great cut to the goal by Nurse and Williams founder. Talk about Gabby Williams and her ability to make the pass. Again, that same area of the floor when she catches. Nice cut and the give and go. She's looking, her head up. I mean, that's not an easy pass to make. Thread the needle on it. Three no good. Williams with it. With the rebound, couldn't quite control it, but deflected it to her teammate Collier, and Samuelson nails another one. Then sets up Jesperson for the three. Here's Williams, three on two. Nurse to her left. To go to in this second half to try to cut into the lead. Collier, jumper in the paint. We don't have those, <laughs> those same tough standards the networks do on election night. 
Samuelson is nine for nine points any UConn player has ever scored in a conference tournament. Tina Charles once had 34 in a Big East tournament game as Collier hits the shot for three. No good long rebound to John. Then she finds Samuelson. She's got five assists already. She's done a nice little sprinkling of the assists into the scoring. Butler down low with a nice face up jumper over Caitlin Weber. In the conference tournament with only one loss, that's the way to do it. And Samuelson gets a huge ovation. I wonder if it's possible that we won't see her again. It's been homecoming week, as Chris Daly told us at practice today for former Huskies, Rebecca. Yeah, they saw Jamel Elliott with Cincinnati. Could have ever imagined that that would be the case. And I think Coach O.M. and his wildest dream thought about it. As you see Natalie Butler get the one to fall. But she's got the record for the highest percentage. Exactly. In a game. Irwin, oh my goodness. Now that being said, if they show up and play like they did tonight, I don't see anyone beating them. The judge with the basket at the other end, and then Butler responds with a jumper. She didn't start at the beginning of her of her freshman year. It was only when Kalena Green went down with the torn ACL that she moved top 25 teams, but they beat number two Notre Dame. They beat number two Baylor. They beat number four Maryland as John knocks down another three. So UConn for the fourth time in four years in the American Conference has won the conference title, beating USF in the championship game for the third straight time.